Уважаемые граждане России, дорогие ветераны, товарищи солдаты и матросы, сержанты и старшины, мичманы и прапорщики, товарищи офицеры, генералы и адмиралы, поздравляю вас с Днем Великой Победы! Защита Родины, когда решалась ее судьба, всегда были священны. С такими чувствами подлинного патриотизма поднимались за отечество ополченцы Минина и Пожарского, шли в атаку на Бородинском поле, бились с врагом под Москвой и Ленинградом, Киевом и Минском, Сталинградом и Курском, Севастополем. This is Russian President Vladimir Putin currently addressing the Red Square in Moscow where the Grand Parade has actually kicked off. The annual military parade in Moscow's Red Square marks the country's victory over Nazi Germany in 1945. It's a chance to remember the sacrifices of World War II when an estimated 27 million Soviet citizens died by far the greatest loss of any country. Under Vladimir Putin, Victory Day has also become a show of strength of troops and military hardware, like you've seen there. But after months of war against its neighbor Ukraine, Russia is devoid of any real form of military victory that it can celebrate from this event. Also yesterday, before this event, Ukraine's Volodymyr Zelensky issued a statement. He says his country is fighting for a new victory, this time over Russian invaders. Remember, this parade comes in the backdrop of the invasion of Russia in Ukraine. Volodymyr Zelensky said in a statement, and I quote, on the day of victory over Nazism, we are fighting for a new victory. The road to it is difficult, but we have no doubt that we will win. Zelensky says Ukrainians were a free people who had fought to defend their land many times in history and had their path on their own. He also says today we are waging war on this path and we will not give anyone a single piece of our land, and we will not give anyone a single piece of our history. This is according to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. While Russia is celebrating its 1945 victory over Nazi Germany with a show of military might as its army battles Kyiv's forces in the east of Ukraine, where it is reported 60 people were killed in an airstrike on a school sheltering civilians. President Vladimir Putin, who is currently addressing the Red Square in Moscow, has flaunted Russia's power in celebration of Victory Day in an event that has taken on great prominence as he seeks to justify a war that has gone on far longer than two months. But as huge missiles are towed through Moscow's Red Square and a planned flyover will feature fighter jets showing support to the war, Ukraine will be desperately battling to stop a hoped-for military breakthrough. And civilians continue to bear the brunt of the bloodshed. Vladimir Putin has maintained that the, this is a military operation in Ukraine and it will remain so in the coming days. We are not sure if he will mention Ukraine in his speech. We'll wait and see if at all he will mention Ukraine in his speech. Also yesterday, the United Kingdom said it was slapping fresh sanctions on Russia and Belarus over Moscow's invasion of Ukraine, including import tariffs on pre precious metals and export bans. 
The import tariffs, including a platinum and palladium, target trade worth 1.7 billion US dollars, while export bans worth 250 million euros target Russia's manufacturing and heavy industry. We heard from the G7 grouping, which says that this far-reaching package of sanctions will inflict further damage on the Russian war machine. It is part of a wider coordinated effort by the many countries around the world who are horrified by Russia's conduct and determined to bring to bear our economic might to persuade Vladimir Putin to change course. You also had a statement from the G7 leaders yesterday saying that, uh, or insisting rather, that they will be inflicting more sanctions on Russia, specifically on President Vladimir Putin. The UK's new sanctions bring the total value of products subjected to full or partial import and export sanctions to more than 4 billion euros. Мы склоняем головы перед памятью мучеников Одессы, заживо сожженных в Доме профсоюзов в мае 2014 года, перед памятью стариков, женщин и детей Донбасса, мирных жителей, которые погибли от безжалостных обстрелов, варварских ударов неонацистов. Мы склоняем головы перед нашими боевыми товарищами, которые пали смертью храбрых в праведном бою за Россию. Объявляется минута молчания. Уважаемые товарищи, гибель каждого нашего солдата и офицера – это горе для всех нас и невосполнимая утрата для родных и близких. Государства, регионы, предприятия, общественные организации сделают все, чтобы окружить заботой такие семьи, помочь им. Особую поддержку окажем детям погибших и раненых боевых товарищей. Указ президента об этом сегодня подписан. Скорейшего выздоровления желаю раненым солдатам и офицерам. И благодарю врачей, фельдшеров, медсестер, медицинский персонал, военных госпиталей за самоотверженную работу. Низкий поклон вам за то, что боретесь за каждую жизнь. This is live at the Red Square in Moscow, where... Russian President Vladimir Putin is currently addressing the parade and we moments before we had a minutes of silence probably to commemorate the event and Russia is celebrating its 1945 victory over Nazi Germany with a show of military might even as its army battles Kyiv's forces in east of Ukraine. The Victory Day parade has already begun. 
like you saw there in Moscow's Red Square. Soldiers in full dress uniform are carrying Russian and Soviet flags past veterans and dignitaries, including President Vladimir Putin, who is currently addressing the crowd. Victory Day has become like a religion today. This is what Russians are saying. And they also add that uh, what's wiped out from memory is that among the 20 million killed during World War II, it's pretty much Belarusian and Ukrainian civilians that paid a high price. The annual show in Red Square commemorates the defeat of Nazi Germany and has become so ritualized that one year's parade is barely distinguishable from others. But this year's observance of Russia's most important patriotic holiday carries exceptional weight. As Russian troops fight grueling battles in Ukraine and unleash torrents of missiles and bombs, both Russian and foreign observers will watch for signs of what could come next in the conflict following this speech by President Vladimir Putin. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.